I'm Dr. Arunima Haldar. I'm a consultant in IVF and reproductive medicine at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. One of the most common problems we encounter these days in infertility clinics is low AMH. AMH or anti-munarian hormone is an ovarian reserve test. That is, it is an indirect measure of what is the total number of eggs which is there in your ovaries at present. Every woman is born with a certain number of eggs and with every menstrual cycle she will lose some of her eggs. So over the years there will be a gradual loss in the total number of eggs. Some women are born uh, with a larger number of eggs to begin with and as the years progress she will lose gradually however some women lose the eggs very quickly. AMH or anti-mullerian hormone is a hormone which is released from the cells which surround the eggs from a structure called as the follicle which is usually seen in the ultrasound scans. The normal value of AMH is between 2 to 3.5 any value which is less than 2 nanogram per ml is considered as low AMH. Do you think that ovulation is not happening? Well, no, you are ovulating in spite of having a low AMH but with certain problems. There is something called as an asynchrony between the follicles and the endometrium. The follicles which contain the eggs grow faster. They can start growing even before the start of the next periods. You might be seeing a shortening of your period cycles during this time. Now if the follicles grow very quickly, the endometrium or the uterine lining does not get enough time to mature. As a result, there is an asynchrony between the egg development and the endometrium. The other problem which is commonly seen with low AMH is a poor quality oocyte. Nature has the tendency to take up the best eggs first in the earlier years and leave behind the poorer quality eggs for later on. So what we are left with is not a very good quality of eggs. So these are the two problems which we see, asynchrony of follicles and uh, endometrium as well as poor quality eggs. So this causes delayed conception and as we delay the conception, the AMH may fall further. Usually the treatment for low AMH depends on how low the AMH is and if it is associated with any fertility disorders. If the AMH is just borderline, then our advice is to go ahead and start the treatment very quickly, not to waste much time. You can go ahead with the most basic form of treatment like ovulation induction and timed intercourse. If few cycles you don't conceive, then please go ahead with few cycles of ovulation induction and IUI. If conception does not occur even with these, then you can go ahead with IVF. If the AMH is very low, that is less than 1 nanogram per ml, we may recommend to go ahead with IVF directly. Well, till now, whatever I have said, you would have understood that AMH cannot be really increased. The number of eggs are fixed, so the value of AMH is more or less fixed. What we can do is we can prevent the quick fall in AMH as well as improve the egg quality. If you are on the overweight side, then losing weight is a very good method of improving the egg quality. Apart from this, good food habits, eating at home, sleeping early and waking up early, decreased stress and daily exercise can improve your egg quality. There are certain antioxidants which can be given to improve the egg quality.